First off, if you'll tell us just kind of how South Carolina is doing with controlling the spread of COVID-19 right now. Well, South Carolina, Margaret Ann, um, is in what we call the red zone. The uh, positivity rate is above 10 percent. That, that is one out of 10 uh, people who are being tested are positive. And uh, so I think South Carolina has had a bit of outbreak a little later than other states. However, uh, again, even though one death is one death too many, uh, the death rates in uh, South Carolina, three out of 100,000 population, is actually pretty good. So doctors uh, are, and healthcare officials in South Carolina are doing an excellent job. Uh, South Carolinians are doing a great job in protecting each other, especially the vulnerable who might succumb from this illness. Uh, so, um, you know, I, I, we're seeing a trend that South Carolina uh, should see a decline in active cases here quite soon. One thing that we do he, uh, see here in South Carolina quite often, especially after the weekends, is just kind of inconsistent case numbers. Um, sometimes we'll see 400 one day, the next day it jumps to 900. Is there any real rhyme or reason for that? To be honest with you, uh, the, the spike that you may see in the middle of the week is really more of a artifact of the reporting. Uh, oftentimes, um, the healthcare facilities won't report until Monday afternoon or Tuesday, what may have been going on for three days. So that's the reason why we average out those peaks and declines so that we see kind of an average from week to week. Uh, so it's not really, uh, the virus of course doesn't uh, move around like that. Uh, it's a much smoother, smoother transition, but um, we do see that from, from really every state reporting. Do you feel like testing has gone down at all, like less people are going out and getting tested? Because that's what South Carolina DHEC has been saying here, uh, at least for us in the Palmetto State. Uh, there may be a decrease in testing, but only because uh, people may be asking for it less. I think people are beginning to adjust to this pandemic and they're feeling more comfortable about how they handle it and where the risks are. On the other hand, we've passed 100 million mark as far as the number of Americans tested and we have more test availability and capacity than we've ever had and there was uh, actually 150 million uh, tests that were purchased from Abbott, the Binax Now, which is a simple little reagent test that's done out of a, a credit card looking uh, apparatus uh, where we get results in 5 to 15 minutes. So uh, testing is more available than ever if anybody needs it. Uh, but we see that people don't have the sort of fear and panic maybe that they had before. So there's been some decline when it comes to asking for the test. Uh, but overall in the country what we're seeing is a decline in new and active cases. And we've seen an 85% decline in case fatality rates.